All right, and the energy that is coming in from September into October is the Ace of Cups. So I really feel like there's a relationship that happened in September that you you met somebody new or you reconnected with somebody from the past, and uh, the and it just didn't flow as you would have liked. So it, it could be that you you like them, you care about them, but you don't know how to incorporate them into your life. And so in October, you're trying to figure that out if it's worth the effort to keep building with this person or if it's just time to let it go all right and then we have the king of wands oh the queen of wands king and queen showing up okay and the nine of swords the three of cups the tower page of wands wow look at that all that wands strength wow okay five of swords Two of Discs and the Universe. Wow, this is an interesting spread. I'm going to put this up here for... So let's put it down here. There we go. Okay. Okay. So, you've got a lot of people showing up, including yourself. You're showing up in this too. We have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands showing up in the upright. So this is great. I mean, the entire spread is in the upright. How crazy is that? That barely ever happens. And, you know, I do reversals, obviously. I have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So, uh, wow. Okay, Leo, what a powerful month. You and Scorpio have some major power going on. Now yours is different in that not necessarily that we have a lot of major arcana. I mean we we do have two but um, it's just a really strong reading um, with you showing up and okay so I'm going to get into it instead of just admiring it. All right, so right off the bat, we have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Fire energy, you. You are showing up. So that's Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy showing up, both in the upright. And in a way, it might be this relationship, okay? So you might be seeing another fire sign, a fellow fire sign. And the, the thing is, is that in this, in this situation, it, you guys are not looking at each other, okay? You're on a different path than this Queen of Wands. And it doesn't mean that this... Um, this energy that they're a bad person or that you don't like them or you don't enjoy them. But I really do feel like it's not necessarily like a soulmate connection, okay? So they're coming in here to kind of guide you on the lesson that you need to learn. But you, the thing is, is I, I do feel like there's a bunch of Leos out there that kind of feel lonely. You know, you, you feel disconnected. You don't feel supported, that you don't have a really solid partner in crime. And, and, and what you really want is that to happen. You really want to be able to celebrate with them. And you, you have this idea that your partner should be like. And you're, you've been really holding on to that. And I see that with the Three of Cups showing up and the Nine of Swords. Like you're lamenting. You're like very sad about this fact that the Three of Cups is not happening for you. And you don't know how to make it happen. Like you put in the effort to find a partner. You put in the effort with your partner even. And they're just, it's just not gelling. It's not what you want. It's not how you want it to be. Well, this idea you need to let go of, okay? It's time to let that idea of, like, the perfect person, you got to let that go, all right? Because the universe will take it away anyways, all right? So we have the tower here, and I really do feel like it's, um, the tower is happening it could be definitely in the physical realm of, you know, this person is let go. You, you let go of this person. Um, you break up. A relationship is done. Um, to teach you, like, you know, this, they were great. They were wonderful. They were perfect and you let them go. You know, it's like, it's because you've been building an idea in a way. You've been building an idea of a person for so long. And it's really hard to manifest this person because in, in, actuality, in actuality, the only place they exist is in your mind. Okay? And so here's another situation, too, that I kind of see happening more so than what I'm saying, actually, is that they leave you. They leave you because you've held them to such high expectations. They can't, they can't live up to it. 
even like you you might have even been making like a past person more than they ever were like a past relationship was the perfect relationship and something happened and you guys are no longer together and so the person that you're with is like mm, i deserve more i'll see ya you know and so you like there's a breakup there's a there's a break in relationship however like this is something else that i'm seeing here too is that you guys are going to break up but um there's a just with this page of wands energy like this there, there's a there's a child involved you know there's a child so some of you guys might have had a child with this person and so now it's like what are you going to do with this page how are you going to help them how are you going to help them grow into the the strong beautiful person that they need to be but you have to focus on them as a person not at on this this facade of a life that you have in your mind so this is going to take a lot of strength like that's why this is popping up too you know and strength is a leo card is the leo card so you're you've popped up here in the king of wands and in strength too and so with strength remember it's not always physical strength it's also having the mental emotional spiritual capacity to take on the situation because the situation here is very very much about relationships this month like i don't necessarily see this in regards to your work i see this in regards to your personal relationship like this is a personal relationship month and so you're fighting, and I also see like this five of swords popping up with, you're like, you're fighting the change. You're fighting with people who actually love you and help you. And you can't figure out why. You can't figure out why you get so unnerved by your family or so upset with your best friend all the time. And so this is a personal balance that you need to find, that you need to find within yourself. Like this is, this is, you know, finding health and wealth within okay you have to do that yourself and i think you're going to have a lot of space to do that because i think some people are kind of in a way leo just sick sick of what you've been um doing to them and i don't think you've been meaning to be um you know aloof or meaning to uh, not give the attention that your partners need you haven't meant to do that it's just that you have been trying to cultivate and figure out what you truly want in relationship and they kind of got caught up in it you know so like your intentions are are sweet but it's it's hurting other people okay but with the universe card here, which is really interesting to me, that that's kind of how it kind of encapsulates in a way, is through the universe, is that the, you know, the world, spirit wants to help you through this. But you have to look up and ask for it. Like the universe is like, we're trying to teach you this lesson so you don't have to keep learning it. And it keeps coming back, it keeps coming back time and time again, year after year. So now that, you know, it's like, You've, you've been putting in the work, but now you have to understand and um, make the work action. Because you are losing some really wonderful people because of this, uh, this world you have created in your mind. And so to break that down, to break down that, that, um, that facade takes, takes a lot of effort. Now, on the other side, and not necessarily on the other side of this, is, you know, if you, your partner has left or your best friend has left, somebody you really care about, care about has said, see ya, I'm not dealing with this. I know it's going to hurt. It's really going to hurt. And, you know, you need to look to your support system for help. But more so, I see, like, this Nine of Swords next to the Three of Cups here as you're you're upset because you, you're just now realizing what you're losing you know or what you've lost in the past because of being so gung-ho on the the most beautiful the most amazing the most smart the most in your eyes this this perfect person 
Yeah, this this October is all about that because I'm it's like I kind of see like just here like this separation happening. So it's either um you know, you are the king of wands and you've turned your back in a way on on this on this journey. I mean, like, I'm going to hold out for this person. And the universe is going to come in and teach you a lesson. Or, you know, this is your partner or somebody you love. And they, they've they turned their back on you and said, no, I'm not going to put up with this. I You have been disrespecting me. And you haven't been seeing the full capacity of my beauty. Because you're holding on to something that does not exist. Okay. So let's pull, um, I'm going to pull from the tarot of a new garden. It's a new deck for me. And I just pulled the major arcana cards just to bring it all together. Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, I mean, even through all of this, this uh, kind of malarkey, you know, this emotional, spiritual malarkey of letting go. The Wheel of Fortune is on your side. All right? So this is, the Wheel of Fortune is a really, really positive card if you're working in a really, really positive manner. Okay? So if you're working from a place of, you know, I know I have a lot of work to do, but I'm doing it. I'm trying to let go of this idea of a person and accept people for who they are and see their beauty and see how their beauty um, resonates with me and raises me up, then, you know, the wheel of fortune is going to come in and just psh, blow that out of the water. And then all of these amazing people are going to pop up into your life and you're going to be like, oh my gosh, well, you know, I've been missing so much because I've been so, um, you know, set on something from the past or something I haven't, you know, that doesn't exist. And then you'll see that what is truly here and in front of you is even more amazing than what you could have ever imagined. However, on the other side of that, the Wheel of Fortune is expansion too. And it's going to expand ill fortune too, if that's what you are um, giving your energy to. Fortune is not always positive. You know, there's, there's ill will that can happen. So make sure that you aren't expanding that energy in your life and pushing people out saying, nope, not you, not you, not you. You are not a supermodel. <laughs> you are not, uh, you, you don't have your doctorate in um, whatever, I don't know, history. So you're not smart enough for me. Okay, so you, those kinds of um, labels that you're holding on to are doing you a huge disservice. And, I, you know, not all Leos are doing this. I know that. Not all Leos are, are you know, pushing out people because, you know, th you feel that they're not good enough. But this is a softening that needs to happen. This is a humbling Leo that needs to happen in this month. Um, and if you don't do it, then the universe will make sure that it happens for you. Okay? It's a humbling and an acceptance that, you are but a human, and so are we. And so to love that and accept that, and that not everyone can be perfect, no one is perfect, and to look in the mirror, and even though you shine bright, Leo, and you are vibrant and beautiful, so are other people. And if you lost somebody in the process of this, if you lost somebody because they just were like, I can't, I can't live up to your standards, just think about what those standards are and if you really, really need to uphold them, okay? Or if you're just pushing people out because you're scared. <laughs> 